All right, welcome back to Master and the Pupil. And today we have a deck from RBET2. I know this is way, way back, but I thought this deck was cool when I saw it. And I actually talked about it a little bit in my side decking guide video. So if you haven't watched that video, check it out. But this deck includes a transformational side deck that literally is meant to counter what your opponent is going to do after they see what you're playing game one. And then you side into a value turbo deck, essentially. And they probably put in light mirrors and things like that soul release cards that are just not really good against value turbo and uh yeah it, it's meant to catch your opponent off guard in game three if it gets to that they have no idea which engine you're going to be using so it makes it really awkward for them to side deck so there are some benefits to having a side deck that transforms like this this is an old school concept that has been brought into edison last year and i really like it haven't really seen much of it since but uh yeah and this is also i think our first time playing lightsworn on this channel i don't think we've ever played pure lightsworn it's always been christius Worn or something like that yeah, I think the only Light Sworn variant we've ever played is Christia Sworn, just because I think uh, for Fraser and a little bit myself, I'm not too big of a fan of uh, Light Sworn's vanilla, but you know, yeah. they sometimes generate some non games. <laughs> yeah, I think that this is the deck of non games. If if you're trying to if you're trying to just steamroll your opponent for no reason at all, like this is this is what you probably want to play. If you were trying to tell people they shouldn't have shown up, this is the deck to do it. Yes okay so oh yeah let me put edison here and then i definitely need to change this so boom set as default all right let's get it popping i always feel a little disgusted when i play lightsworn but because i'm not lucky in the conventional sense like i obviously get lucky but some people just open up so absurd with Lightsworn that they, they have a nine game immediately. And I just, I don't get many of those. I just want to have one of those where I like open up. Charge, Solar, Solar, yes. Lumina Groth. Yes. All the things. Like I just want all the things. Gold never... Sark for JD. Yeah. Right, I'm just <laughs> picking rock. All right, we're just picking rock again. I don't know what you thought this was. Oh yes. We're going rock. Cause we're yeah. going in. Yes. We're playing lights more. I'm trying to All beat right, him over the head. So draw a triple wolf now. Okay. I, we like seeing charge. We love seeing charge, actually. Slash mill three. Oh. Oh, we're good too. <laughs> we're good at the game. <laughs> now we're just good at the game now. Uh. All right. Is it right there? Yeah, it could be Ryko. You know, I had a crazy thought. Actually, you know, I don't even know if my crazy thought's legal. Is Wolf mandatory? Do you have to summon Wolf if he you, gets flipped? You do, you do. Okay, okay. I had a crazy bananas thought then. Yeah, I guess imagine it's just Ryko. I guess this is pretty weak if, like, they main Minecon. That would suck. Yeah, I mean, you better have it, though, right? Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I uh, I, mean, I want to make is... it very go ahead. Go ahead. I was saying I, I want to make it very clear that I I'm not I'm not not setting the right go, even even if that is a uh, you know a counter to this play. Yeah, I'm setting the yeah. MST here as well because I already got so much. Not so much, but I got free advantage from Wolf. Like, you know, he needs very specific cards to I guess deal with this. I mean, brain control. No, I like really... setting MST here too because it's like we can get rid of the back row of Ryko um yeah and if he only has like heavy storm he might even feel pressured to use it here that's correct also if it's a deck that plays whirlwind or future fusion yeah i think if we lose the mst to like a, a trade of an mst i'm not even really upset about that because yeah, we have I, heavy I storm my, and exactly. Ryko. we have heavy i i think like in his position it would oh it's gadgets okay. yeah there's only one deck that plays fissure <laughs> Yeah, either gadgets or straight up anti meta. Which could be a little annoying since we are on Light Sword. Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not. We're not stopping a gadget summon. Yeah, never was doing anything to a gadget summon. You can do this. Cool thing we have the Aaron to beat over. Most yes. of the gadgets. Yes, so she's neat. bigger than every gadget. Chaos Oster is also bigger. Let's get like a Necro milled or something. That was some fucking powerful ass cards we just milled. Yeah, but this deck has so many powerful like 
cards in general. Um, it's gonna happen often where you just kind of mill. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Um. So you could just foolish for wolf attack with Aaron. I was gonna foolish for wolf attack with wolf, and then if he drops scores, then I tie some. some. Yeah. Sure. That sounds fine. All right. Attack for 21. Cyber Dragon. Yes, it is. And then I guess we can normal the Aaron to mill three if you want, or we can actually kind of save the Aaron maybe because he might set a monster. Yeah, I'm thinking about how I want to approach the Aaron. I think I will summon it though. I need to get a dark monster in the grave. Yeah, I guess you get the dark monster by. Summoning Caius and it dying though. But like, if Caius doesn't, if this gets out it and I don't summon Aaron, then how is Caius coming out in the first place? Is the thing. Yeah, that's true. You know what? I'm being dumb. Oh wow! All right, well that's all three. I'm being dumb though. Um, this deck is an ape deck. I was supposed to just summon Aaron and attack and just be like, "Fuck it!" Like you better. That's have what those. I was. That's what I was kind of thinking with with going wolf. Aaron, attack. I don't know. All right. Yep. Yep. This is going to be disaster. Yeah. MST on Declare is about to be really yeah, disaster. Uh, disaster inbound. You better attack Aaron. You better attack Aaron. I'm telling you, my guy, you need to attack Aaron. So bad. I almost want to tell him in the chat. Please attack Aaron. <laughs> He's thinking about it right now. Yeah, I was about to say you have to attack Aaron. You lose so bad if you don't. So five hundred yeah. plus eight hundred of so thirteen. I know he was sweating bullish just now, but yeah, on honest, yeah, as well. All right, so we're probably gonna MST another back row and then end up heavying or something. I don't know. Or Caius actually is just good enough. We can Caius the well. This, this can't stay. I don't know if my deck has a Chimera Tech in it, but this this can't stay. I hope he's like I'm not keeping this like this. I'm so mad if I don't have Chimera Tech in my extra deck. Mm. I don't. Fuck. I'm playing the one deck that can't punish this. Uh. <laughs> I think you just go summon Caius, hit Solidarity, attack over both, right? Why well, did you do Celestia? So now the game has changed. It's true. He would die right now, though, if I had Chimera Tech in my extra deck. He would. Like, this would be game. It would be like 2000, 2000, 2000. Like, you're fucking dead. I'm so shocked that he left that out like that. I feel disrespected. <laughs> you knew you didn't have it. I'm about to just pop both his monsters. I'm popping both his monsters. You're saying we're going to mill the dark and kill him? Yes. All right. I like that. All right. That didn't happen, but this is still so much damage. And we still have the MST on Declare. Yes. We're just trying to get him. Yep. All right. Let me get you. He's real low now. He is real low. His house of cards is falling down. A solidarity gadget doesn't even beat over Celestia, right? No. I guess they the get biggest, his 22. That's correct. Yeah. I never won. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to leave it out there for you. I'm so, I feel so disrespected right now. This is the same play from last turn. It didn't work last turn. I wonder why you think it worked this turn. Don't just let me beat you without using this MST. No, I'm definitely going to use it right here because he's going to attack uh, Celestia with Cyber Dragon and that's just going to be the end of the game. Yes, it will. Hopefully he attacks with the red gadget first. All right. MST. Solidarity. Goodbye, Cyber Dragon. All right. Go ahead and set your fake back row now. 
Oh, well, Cyber Dragon's dead. <laughs> Not your fake back row. Yeah, I don't care if this is even Starlight Road. Oh, I mean, we don't care about anything. Yeah. All right. Heavy. Yeah. Attack with your monsters. No. Yeah, I guess you could do it this way as well. Mm -hmm. You have the earth on us. <laughs> See, now you're stealing my jokes. <laughs> but you don't have a name for the Earth Honest. I have a name for the Dark Honest. His name's Dishonest. I'm so angry right now that there's not one Chimera tech in my extra deck the way this guy plays. I'm so mad. I don't even think I side deck against this either. Like, I don't... Uh... Like, I probably have a better matchup just staying Lightsworn. Yeah, I feel like gadgets can't beat Lightsworn. Yeah, that, like, Milling Wolf is too much. <laughs> it's just too much. It's such a free summon. I mean, I milled every single wolf. Well, I milled two of them, and then one of them I foolished. But yeah, every wolf got summoned that game. All right. Our hand is good again. So what is Rhoda's search? Just Garoth? Aaron, Jane, Garoth. Aaron? Aaron, Jane, Garoth. Okay. All right. Well, Jane can get over that. Yep. Here's a story. And then the Rota double double X is a third is a, a third copy of Greffer. All right, what you got? Oh, summon turn one. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, why not? Fortress Fortress turn one is pretty strong. Why the fuck not? Oh, and an equip. Excuse me. All right. Yeah, what do you want me to do? Herald the Orange Light? Like, yeah, you're good. Set no back row pass. This again. All right, I don't, I don't think you need it to activate Solidarity there. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on. Oh, so how does this work? Um. It works exactly like you think. Like, I, I wouldn't pop this, though, because it looks at my hand. Yeah. Uh, but I could just pop these two or whatever. So, all right, let's see how we... This is actually annoying to deal with, this thing. So, yeah, he is. Hopefully we just draw the Honest here and trivialize it. That's a really good fucking draw. Oh, that is. Yeah, now we're going to thin out this deck nice and good. I'm assuming we're going to go... Uh, aren't you supposed to Foolish first for Wolf? No. Okay. Ooh. 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 Oh. <laughs> Remember when we said don't show up? This is what we meant. Oh, don't show no. up to the match. Oh, no. This I feel is... it. Um, why? Why do I get the feeling we're about to randomly summon JD? By the way, oh, that's what that's where this is going. I feel like I feel it's like this? we're actually it's this. Yeah, and then we're just gonna mill more names. I feel like we are just far too close to be summoning JD right now. Third one. <laughs> this is the hands we were talking about. Now we're only missing the charge. That was the only part of this equation. Yeah, this is to. this is fucking. Oh weird. wait, hold on. Can we? No, we can't guarantee it, right? No, I don't know. Yeah, with like a plague stack or nothing. Yeah. Because I feel like JD getting summoned, even if we put it, put ourselves a turn behind. <laughs> All right. Well, yep. That's <laughs> that's JD live. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, yeah, you definitely summon JD, right? Is he like, dead? Bro, he's uh, dead. Is he dead? So summon Brionic? Yeah, he looks Summon at your hand. JD? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he is dead. You're right. Just do it. Is that game? That's 3,023. Yeah, that has to be. 46 plus 3. Oh, he'd be at 400. What? So you lose Wolf. You have 3,023. 23. Oh, he would. Damn. Yeah, he would live slightly. Let's look at the extra deck. 
I could play him for a fool. Like, what if I just played him for a fool? Uh, I guess you can make Goyo. I could make Goyo a take take it, which is really good right here. Yeah, because you have Mirror Force to protect it and Gardner. Yeah, I, I I like Goyo take. Yeah, stack the Ryko. Yeah. He probably is not going to know how this works, so we might have to walk him through it. Because he can choose to pop the Goyo, but we still keep the monster, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. They activate at the same time. What do you destroy? Okay. Goyo gone. We take that guy, put him on our side of the field. Yeah. We set Mirror Force. We pass. I do I even need to set Mirror Force? Uh you have JD live in your hand. I don't think you I'm need passing. to hold Mirror Force, but I guess I guess this is the What's he gonna do? The conservative play. What's he gonna do? Well, I don't really care what he's gonna do. I think setting Mirror Force is probably just right. This. But look it's at, okay. Look at I have Garna. What can he do? Yeah, I know you have Gardner, but, you know. What's he going to do? <laughs> Look at him. He summoned the gadget. <laughs> he did summon a gadget. It's crazy how bad that deck is. Like, gadgets. Not not this person's deck, specifically. Just gadgets as a as a deck. I don't know what just happened, but... He uh, accidentally dropped it instead of adding it to his head. Oh, uh, okay, yep. All right, well. Smashing ground. Oh. Oh. Well. I'll just well. Well, it's time for JD to get summoned. Because I'm taking two cards away. Not two cards. All yeah. three wolves again. <laughs> uh, Isn't that nice? How do I sleep at night? I don't no. know. Summoning this JD is how you wake up in the morning, though. Yeah. All right. Well. You don't have shit. Okay. So this is four cards. This is three. That's seven. Plus another two. That's nine. So I beat 11 cards. I think we are fine with just attacking with three. He's playing gadgets. Because I can kill him next turn with... JD plus monster, so this doesn't change the clock by putting out Lumina right now. Yeah, you can just attack. Okay. So, I'm gonna set this, and I'll pass. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mill four. Yep, anyway. Okay. Yep. He's going to go attack on JD, thinking he can limit or removal us, and then we're going to necro. He still can't be JD with limit or removal. 2,800. Oh, yeah, that would still be too low. Damn. Yep. All right, well. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Nothing. I'm enjoying it. I mean, this was just not fair. All right. Why are you beating up on TR8 like that? It's not my fault that he decided to play this. Give me that 3,000 in. Yes. All right. All right. Well. GG's. That's game. That was a little too easy. That was a little too easy. We definitely have to do another one because that was not real at all. <laughs> um, Gadgets are so garbage. Damn, that was fast. Yeah, we're rocking it. We're rocking out. Yep. You got me. All right, now we're going to we're gonna draw Aaron, and he's going to set a monster. Oh, I love it. Or Rhoda. I'll take that, too. All right, that's the wrong warrior. That is the wrong warrior. Ugh. This that's a right go. 
Yep. You know what I'm about see, to do? See, now we're now we're not having the fun anymore. No, we're definitely not having the fun. This is not the fantasy I dreamed of. All right, be goblin zombie. No, don't be fucking goblin zombie. <laughs> now, what is this plant? Quick draw. No attack. Oh, okay. Well, we got some plays. Um, you just set Raiko again, though. What is what you were not playing Soul Recharge? I was probably just going to recharge the Jane. Yeah, I'm going to play Solar Recharge. I'm not... You're going to have to stop me. All right, draw, draw, mill, mill. Okay, shit mill. Uh, who do I want to summon here? Kind of want to summon Honest in attack. That sounds like, pretty good. But I'm like, do I want to expose my Honest? So maybe summoning Plague Spreader is a little bit better. I like the Honest because I specifically have uh, Tragodia summon. Torrential's gone. What you got? Nothing, apparently. All right. Honest comes back to hand. We pass. Since he was so afraid to attack Gore's last turn, he was probably still afraid. Yep. He's reading... That there is a battle monster, and he's not wrong. It's just that he's wrong on which one it is. All right. Oh, now he finds out. <laughs> he faces fears. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. Well, I imagine Ooh. we're just going to get the said hamster. Or Raiko, whichever one he doesn't return. He doesn't have monsters. That's a really bad sign. Because he also milled all spells and traps with Raiko. So things are going wrong. Things are definitely going wrong. What's he going to do? Well, it would have to be the hamster. Letting your opponent have a... Oh. I guess he thinks you're going to do the honest shuffle. Yeah, he doesn't want to take more life, I guess. I don't know. All right. I guess, it, I guess it, if, it's, uh, if it's that down bad... Don't you get crazy now. Stay tame. There yep. we go. No! Oh Is that three my... Rikos? Yes, that's the fucking third Riko, bro. That's so annoying. That is wild. That is so annoying. Out of 29 cards, come on. Remember I told you I never have it easy? He stacked our deck. I just never have it easy. He stacked our deck. I just want to... I just want when we to... when we gave him our deck to cut, he stacked it. Oh, he's about to discard a card. Oh, Machina. That's what he's on. All right, Ryko flip. I'm so mad right now. I have to calm down. Give me a sec. <laughs> yeah. And then I guess Gosh, you can three. summon Plague and attack with all the guys. Because if he drops Gorge, you can make Goyo. Uh, he drops Gorge. Hmm. Sounds pretty strong since you have Solemn behind it, so you can't Kaishu, or you can just keep walling. What's gonna? How am I gonna win this game, though? All right, yeah, we're doing this. God, drawing that fucking Ryko, man. Did you oh. not like the summon plague play? No, not yet. All right, it's time. That's actually pretty problematic, I would say. Yeah, he gets to look at your hand. Yeah, there's no scarred. way. I, can, I don't have a way to clear that without without committing a decent amount of cards to outing it. Like nothing else it clean. So except for Solemn, so Yeah, I'm gonna out it clean. Yeah. Drop the other force. Don't say that. Okay. Okay. 
So we're going to start. We got to go into the beatdown tank for sure. Um, no effect. Yeah. All right. We're just going to start attacking you. 211. You shouldn't drop anything if he's smart. Yeah, no. If he's smart, he will just pass like that. Um, I guess you. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep advancing on the field. I'm just thinking about what I yep. want. I think plague sweater is a good one to have out now. Yeah. Um, I don't know about plague actually. If he has like mind control or brain control. I don't think he has. I personally don't think he has that. I'm thinking if I want to summon plague, maybe and then synchro for it would be colossal fighter if anything, but then brain control kind of blows me out. So I don't want that either. Yeah, we're gonna set this and pass. Man, What's going is on? Bricked up. Yeah. Okay. You know what's going to be the worst thing about this is that he. We're going to look at the replay and we're going to see he could. He had plenty of plays. Yeah, that's always the bad thing. I don't know what the math is on this. So it's. <laughs> There's a fifty involved. That's all I know. Yeah, and it's five fifty. So I take seven fifty. Yeah. I was okay. like, I know there's a fifty involved. Okay. Interesting. It's called Wave the Juice. Uh, I think it actually might be since you have Plague Set. Yeah, I like Cold Wave a lot because I'm not going to pop his back row. I'm just going to pop the Gale. And if I mill a wolf, I think he dies. Yeah, I like Cold Wave. Yeah. So then... <sighs> Tribute this right, go for Celestia, target yep. just Gale. Oh, not the back row. See, this is, <laughs> this is why we, we don't want people playing for us. <laughs> all right, listen, just cause you're mad because you were, you were trying to play for us. All right. <laughs> well, now I have to know. You know, when you rage quit like that, when you run away, I just have to know because I'm such a petty person. Yeah. So now I just have to know what you had. All right. So All right. just the Ryko. Just I Ryko. Because my, my deck also sucks. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, you obviously don't want to drop your Force M Fortress for that. So, you know, it makes sense. Yep. He's double bricked up on a Sunday. All right. Draws a okay. Death Shoot. You know, it's a dueling card. Why do you get so mad? All right. Caius was a pretty bad draw. That was book. This is the rage for me. Solom also. Solom yeah, actually would have been pretty good. Solom was really good. just now cause like, Yeah, you, you could just set the yard and then just try to summon your guy. He doesn't have a play. Yeah. yeah you gotta set he probably should have went set the, set the yard and pass. Yeah, and then I'm just starting to get free advantage and all, like, like it just gets bad from there. But he has to do that, but it gets so bad once he commits. Cause then it, do, it, it, do, it does get bad there, but, like, he definitely should have set the yard pass because he needed that fortress to hit the field to have a chance. I love the double shuffle after every draw. Your cool oh. wave just ruined him. Yeah, I mean, you needed, you needed to set that solemn. He needed to, he needed to play with some of his cards. Like if his deck's not going to play kind to him, like he needed to do something, right? <laughs> yeah, that was uh, I feel bad. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to play another one. It's this will just be a quickie. But I mean, I guess the light sworns, you know, the light sworn things. I mean, I don't really know what to say. Like he just kind of lost. The guy, the gadget guy, got destroyed. That's... Yeah, this, I feel like we beat, we beat up on the, we beat, the... we beat up on children. 
well then then that deck that he was playing market control it's a very real deck but like he, he drew so unplayable yeah he drew pretty bad and then raged instead of going like you play more games two and three so sometimes you're going to brick and it happens thank god it happens game one and not game three because that's the worst yeah. so like you still get two games to play could have easily backdoor two me or something well not easily but like he could have tried to backdoor two me um <laughs> anyways <laughs> why are you laughing <laughs> I'm laughing because I just love how you add that little tip and he's like, well, not easily. <laughs> you remember the time? It would have been when, quite arduous. <laughs> remember the time when I, I left after you beat me game one and I was like, all right, when I get back, we'll play the next two games. And then you were like, all right, cool. And then you were like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, what do you mean we'll play the last two games? We'll play the last two games. How do you know games? you're not losing right now? Yeah, you beat me game one. And then I was like, hold on, I'll be right back. When I get back, we can play the next two games. And then you were like, all right, cool. And then as soon as I like started to step away, you were like, wait, get back here, you motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, anyways, we're going to end this episode right here.